Hi everyone. So in this problem we're going to find the derivative of this function, so dy dx. So we know that the derivative of the natural log of x is just 1 over x. So here if we just took the derivative uh, right away, it'd be 1 over all of this times the derivative of all of this, and that's going to involve a quotient rule. So there is an easier way to do this. We're going to start by rewriting this in a nice way. So recall if you have the natural log of a over b, this is really the natural log of a minus the natural log of b. So we can use the quotient rule for logarithms. So here we'll start by rewriting it using this property. So y, right, not differentiating yet, it's the natural log of a, which is the top piece. So natural log of e to the x minus the natural log of the bottom piece. So natural log of one plus e to the x. So just natural log of the top minus natural log of the bottom. And we can actually simplify this a little bit, right? These cancel, it's a identity. This is x minus the natural log of one plus uh, e to the x. Okay, now we're in a good place. Now we can take the derivative, so let's do it. So dy dx, or, or y prime. So the derivative of x is just one, so we have one minus, and then when you take the derivative of this natural log, you just use this formula here. So it's one over whatever's there, so one over one plus e to the x. And then you have to multiply by the derivative of the inside. That's what the chain rule says. So it's times the derivative of this. So the derivative of one is zero, and the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So you just get e to the x. So this is equal to one minus uh, e to the x over one plus e to the x. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world.